Welcome, welcome, welcome to a Sunday Live. My name is Daryl Ledyard, and I've got my good friend Simon on board. On Hello, Daryl. How you Hi. doing? Good to see you. You well? Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing good. Glad to have everybody here tonight uh, as we uh, check in for another Sunday Live here. Uh, all about mass page, SEO, domains, lead generation, and puppies. Why is it about <laughs> puppies? Because Daryl's family <laughs> done and done it. Uh, we thought that our puppy needed a, a puppy mate. Uh, not not like a, a mate mate, but like a friend, you know, a playmate. And a friend, uh, yeah. so we got ourselves a very small Yorkie poo. And she is adorable. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a picture of the Yorkie poo. I, I didn't get a picture sent. It's all on my phone. Um, but yeah, puppies are great. And uh, so we, we uh, took her to the cafe a couple of times. And I'm oh, telling brilliant. you, use puppies for lead generation. They get so many people to come <laughs> yeah. up to you. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, yeah literally, yeah. you know, you could be at a, 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 a mall and try to do a yeah. survey or try to get people to come over to, to look at your, your satellite services or some kind of thing. Nobody's going to come over to you. Just have three puppies the, and the everybody's going to just yeah. show right up and sign up for that credit card, sign up for that satellite service because they want to pet your puppy. Puppies for lead gen. That's that's the next that's the next uh, clickbait right there is Sounds to have a puppy. Uh, but I, no, seriously, uh, we love this this little puppy and she's so small, Simon. Yeah, she's yeah. only two pounds. Wow, okay. two. Pounds. Yeah. Yorkie Poo is quite old. small, aren't there? Is Yorkshire Terrier yeah. and um, a, a Cocker Spaniel, is it? Yeah. Could you imagine yeah. Simon walking oh, Poo, around? Yeah. Six foot Simon walking around with this yeah. little teeny dog that's like this big. Yeah. You know, I think it would be great. Probably suits it, you, your size a bit better. Is that what you're saying, Daryl? <laughs> yes, it works okay it's a, for me. It's a dog that's eight. made for you, really, not that's for me. It. That's, that's, that's a dog it, yeah, made okay. for my size. But yes, puppies, <laughs> puppies are uh, a great way to meet new people, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in here in my office, we bought a little um, gate to put in the mm. corner to have the, the puppy here in Mass Page headquarters. So um, I'll be puppy sitting while I'm working. So if that's at all possible. So uh, looking forward to that. Maybe I need that's to go good. on to Domain Kicks and get some puppy domains. Maybe I'm missing maybe, out. Maybe, on, that, on maybe that can be the theme. Here. Yeah, we should do some of that. I mean, I, and actually, ironically, and this wasn't planned at all, the the case study that I'm doing on my uh, my slot tonight is about um, spinning a blog about how to train a puppy using Magic Page plugin. So it, 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 it wasn't actually you just told me about know, this puppy now, didn't you? So it's all yeah, come together. The had background this, should be puppies. As well. I know yeah. we've had we've this dog. Yeah. Um, for I I think uh, we we found out about this litter puppies when we got. We, we had to wait for all the shots and all that stuff for us to get the puppy. Yeah. And so um, it's, it's, it, it wasn't that we just spare the moment, just pick the puppy to go with your, uh, your content today. So yeah, I that would be, you. that would be cynical, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just to boost the show, just got this dog in. No. Yes. You'll have to make, yes. you'll have to bring it on It'll screen work. and show everyone, you know, my, my dog sometimes makes an appearance because he pokes his head up here wanting his dinner yes. on, some, uh, on Zoom or whatever. So uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, um, I think it's on my Instagram. Let me see if I can pull up my puppy on Instagram. We, we, uh, let's see here. I will go ahead and put this over here and I forgot that we could do this. So let's add to the stream. That's the puppy in the purse. That's, oh, wow. That is we, small. Wow. Look we at that. smuggled this puppy into, <laughs> uh, Marshall's. And uh, that's uh, our little puppy in the purse. Let me see if there's another. Does, puppy does the puppy have, have a name at, at all, Daryl? Yes, you, you know, you... Uh, Olive is her name. Oh, well, that's yeah. Cute. So here's a see. Her her markings looks like a heart. See that? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. She stole my heart, oh. and she put it on her face. <laughs> so, yes. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to talk about puppies, plumbing and mass page today <laughs> so, yeah it's, ro it's rock and roll uh, all, all the top topics there love it all the good stuff all the good stuff so uh yeah thanks rod appreciate it jorge thanks for coming in uh cx3p social steven yeah, thank you for being here yeah i'm just gonna press some of the buttons people have uh said yeah, hello, yeah yeah so that's all good uh good to see uh There's lucy good to see rod good to see in. don 
Good to see James. James is a puppy fan. Yes. Uh, sounds like Don is too. Uh, Jorge is here. Rod. Rod was uh, first on uh, as well. Uh, so good to see you, Rod. So, yeah. All good. Yep, very good. Very good. Well, welcome everybody to a Sunday Live. We hope you are enriched at the end of this with all kinds of great information. And uh, we can answer your questions as well. Uh, at the end, we do a little Q&A. So uh, be standing by for any kind of questions that you might have for us. And uh, thank you guys for being here. So what do you say, Simon, we get the show on the road if they... Yeah, so yeah, sounds good. So, continuing the theme of of puppies, I'm just going to uh, just uh, some. It kind of continues the theme of what I've been doing the last couple of weeks, looking at uh, using uh, AI content through Article Forge, spinning stuff, putting it through Mentorprise. We've done a, a couple of uh, themes of this now, but uh, I've just continued on that theme. There's a few tests and experiments I'm doing, but this is basically trying to use uh, Magic Page plugin to create a. a a spun blog, an evergreen blog, and uh, a few thoughts on that. So uh, it's a bit freeform tonight. I normally like to have a few slides put together, but we're going to uh, just take a risk and just uh, work through some stuff live on screen. So uh, we'll be interested to see how that goes. And Daryl will be good to get your uh, thoughts on it too. And then I think you're talking about MWB and ImageFly and Siphon and other stuff later on, yeah? Yes, indeed, yes. Cool. Okay. Well, look, I'll tell you what, shall I put my uh, slides up and uh, let's just have a quick uh, look at this. Hold on a second. So I'd say uh, I've done some slides, not many, uh, not many uh, this week, but we're going to just do a kind of a live exercise. I just wanted to show people. Uh, some people might be doing this already, but this is just another different way of thinking about how to use Magic Page plugin, which I know many people are using already. And I've said here you could use it as a PBN. Um, you could use it uh, anything. Really. You could also use it to supplement your existing Magic Page uh, site as, as well. So um, question is, like, can you use Magic Page plugins to create an evergreen blog? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> Pretty simple, and uh, there's some steps I'm going to go through. As I say, it's it's free form here, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but um, basically, I'm going to get some spun content. Now, I use Article Forge a lot, which I like, but you could get it from from anywhere. Um, but I like Article Forge because it writes a full article and then gives you the spun content using Word AI. So it's pretty cool. Um, then you can adjust the content to <clears throat> add in some location X fields. I'm going to show you why that's relevant here. You paste it into Magic Page. <clears throat> you export the Magic Pages as posts and there's some settings to do to get the titles to change and then you add a featured uh, image and then you end up with some spun blog posts uh, related to your uh, location so if i go out of here and uh, let me just go into here hold on a second can you still see i'm, I'm going full screen so we can see it a little better yeah okay right so let's start with um Let's start with Article Forge. So I've done a load of things about that, and this is not uh, the show show that it's uh, not just made up now. It's how to train a dog not to jump on a fence, how to train a dog not to enter a room, how to train a dog not to open how, a door. So, how, how to train a dog to do math pages. Do you have that? Uh, I don't have that one, Daryl. Funnily enough, that's not one of the questions that people type into SEMrush. Maybe maybe you have. I don't know. How, how to train a dog how to did, hunt raccoons how, here. I mean, how to train a dog to do lead gen. How about that one? Yeah. How to, yeah. How to Look, train here, a dog to get leads. Here's, here's <laughs> the one I put in probably, how to train a dog to get a beer. <laughs> so, <laughs> a so uh, yeah, how to get a doctor to train bed bugs. Anyway, look, th these are all questions that people have put into SEMrush. I've I've extracted them and um, Article Forge has written an article about it. I don't even, I don't even know. what. Let, let's just see what it says about bed bugs. Um you could train to recognize bed bugs. Who knows? It's probably not a great uh, article, but that's not the point. The point of it is to show the technique rather than the, whatever's coming out there. So what I did, and the, the, I just did these quickly earlier on. So these are only articles of 50 words. So they're, they're small. Now, if you wanted to do a, a blog, you'd probably use 500, even 700. But just for the for speed, this is what I put together early on. So here's a, how to train a dog to leave a bird alone. There's a picture of a bird. There's a video. Uh, and there's a little bit of text, yeah? So we've got that. Mm -hmm. And then one of the nice things we can do in Article Forge, we can combine the articles. So here's the one about uh, don't jump on a fence. Here's the next one about don't enter a room. Here's the next one about don't beg it, don't beg. Here's the next one about 
not to open a door or whatever, yeah? So I've got this stack of articles, not too much uh, text, but I can basically now go over to my Magic page. And uh, for those that are familiar with Magic page plugin, it's obviously all driven off uh, this page, and I can basically paste it in. So I'm going to do this uh, uh, live. Let's just copy my article over. Uh, hold on, copy that. So Isn't I'm basically there a copy gonna... button up above. Does that work or no? Yeah, it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Got yeah it. that works. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just paste it in. So there, are, there are the articles. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. I've not, I've not pasted the spun one, have I? There we go. There we go. Make sure I get the spun version, although it's, otherwise it's going to be the same article a hundred times. That's not going to be very. That's not going to be as impressive, is it? So look, I'm going to paste that in. And it's going to take a, a moment or two to think about it. And then hopefully all that text is going to be in this page. Obviously, because it's spinning, I don't know, 10 articles, <clears throat> it takes a little bit of time. So all the articles and the pay and the images are all spun into here. So that's all quite, uh, quite nice. And I found there's a bit of a limit on this. I was trying to paste in 20 articles and it was not working. So I think there's an upper mm -hmm. limit to the number of spins spun variables that the magic page can can take but anyway i think i've got a number that it can do right so that's great so now we go into here this is my services slash location so this is actually my magic page and it's come up with this yeah so that's um so that's uh, great and um if we go to different locations it should spin them so there you go look you see that mm -hmm. yeah clever yeah, that's great. Okay, so that's uh, that's spun nothing there. Okay, but anyway, look, you get the point. It's it's generally coming up with a different article, different image, and that's all kind of cool. Now, I'd normally have you know a five hundred words in here, but I'm just doing it just for the the, the demo here. So that that's all great, but. Um, what you might want to do is spin it out as a post to actually make it look like a blog and even drip feed it over time and obviously try and weave in some of the uh, location data. So obviously, uh, last year, Magic Page uh, had this uh, new feature where you can uh, export things to posts. So let's let's export this spin tax as um, a post, yeah? So um, I've already put a category in as a puppy training send it to the posts. Now, what I did earlier on is I loaded up some different titles because what I want to get mm -hmm. is some variations. So when there's people land on this blog, it looks a bit like a regular blog and I've built in the mm -hmm. locations. So obviously I've got uh, on this blog, I've got 200 locations that are all in the Northeast of England. And when it goes up, obviously each page will be different. So when I export the pages, it's going to export one page per location. So I'm going to mm -hmm. have how to train a puppy in um, Newcastle, Sunderland, puppy training, the best Harrogate puppy trainers or, or whatever, just different locations. And I could actually add a whole load more if I wanted some I variety. I think you could also, um, let's see, use my form mm -hmm. to, um, there's a there's a titles um, field that you can create, auto-generate titles. And nice. you can have the... Um, all of it created into a spin text short code, and then mm -hmm. just put that in once, and it'll create all of these. I okay. believe oh, that would be uh, cool. I haven't yeah. tested it, but that or um, you know, an X field um, inside of uh, spin text, it could also maybe do it. But um, yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we generate the titles based on um, mm -hmm. uh, the URLs based on the titles. So that's fine to make sure they're all mm -hmm. different. Uh, now here I could um, publish them over time. I'm going to publish them 100% mm -hmm. now so we should see them all. But if you wanted to drip feed something out, and then I think actually you could do it in batches. So if you just had one mm -hmm. set of articles, you could say like build you know, one of these every day for a year or whatever if you've got a few hundred locations. And then right. you could literally just cut, cut and paste the um, magic page again with an, a fresh set of articles, you know, the next 10 on your article forge list and then the next 10, and you could layer them up. And what mm. we're going to be able to show is, well, let me just start exporting it. Hold on, got to select a location. Once you've got all this kind of loaded up, then you can actually then copy the whole uh, WordPress installation and then put it onto another domain in another location and spin it out that way. So I think if you spend the time getting all of the uh, spin tax in place, then it's going to be quite nice. And, that, and that's why I thought it might be quite nice as a as a PBN, because you're effectively going to end up with, you know, uh, a thing that's going to drip feed blog posts out over days, week, weeks, months. Um, they're going to have the locations in the titles. It's going to be different. I mean, not it's not everything's 100% unique, but it, it's still spun all the way through. Mm -hmm. And I thought that'd be quite, uh, quite nice. So let's, uh, that's said it's worked. So let's see what we've got here. 
There we go. Ah, okay, so look. So we have um, Ashington Puppy Trainers, Bedlington Puppy School, uh, Billingham Puppy School, um, Puppy Training for Benton Dog Owners. So there's obviously a bit of variety through this. And when you go into each article, um, you see this. Now, I couldn't get the video to work, so I'm going to have to have a little bit more of a think about how to do that. But, uh, Daryl, you're probably going to tell me I could get it to work with your form. Use you your form. Yeah, use, use the, the embed yeah. that comes from the form. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, I mean, I was just working on this today, so it's not all, it's, some yeah. of this is half-baked, but it's just a skunk work sort of thing. Um, but uh, but I think, you know, you've got a featured image there, and you've got um, this. Now, I, to get the featured image, I've actually got a plugin that chooses the first image it finds in the spin mm -hmm. tag and then adds the image and that's fine but obviously it's only finding the first image in the spin tax it's putting this the same image in so what i'd like to do is find a way to, and i'm probably able to use your form daryl you can tell me mm -hmm. to, to find a way to make this different and then i think you know i, I just i spent an hour or two on this just messing around with it earlier on but this i think is quite an interesting way to to provide um you know some some blog posts and obviously because the link to locations when you go to the morpeth mm -hmm. one uh, you get a different image, and um, oh, I, I've not put in the in location, but obviously if you build in location into the titles, you're then going to get different different areas and different things. And I think if you laid this up with different articles, you're going to get quite a nice, yeah, well, you know, um, just as an uh, as an idea. But yeah, the next thing I need to do, fix is the I can get an image in, but I need to spin the image, and I think that would be you know obviously design it out a little bit more, put a phone number and whatever else, and uh, you, if you use it at PBN, you can fire a load of links at it. And one of the nice things that Article Forge allows you to do is when you do generate an article. Let me just go back here. <clears throat> we talked about this last week, Daryl. You can actually add mm -hmm. replace keywords with links. Yeah. So if you put in dog training or puppy training. You could, if you want to put it back to your money site link, you know, uh, mm -hmm. money site, you could, um, because it takes more than one link, you could put a few to Wikipedia, you know, local copy, you know, club or something. Right. And you could dilute out the number of links that were going to your money site if you wanted yep. to. So if you didn't want to put yep. them all to one place, you could write you know, 10 in there, and then every one in 10 is going to be the money site. And I thought that would be quite a nice way to layer it up. And Plus, you're building see. authority because you're mm. pointing to authority sites. So that's yeah, that's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then once once in a while, drop that in. And mm -hmm. that will, you know, gain uh, just, just a little bit of diversity. So I think there's probably more I could do yeah. on this, but a little bit more time to think around. Well, it, there, is a, basis, there is a setting you know, yeah. further down that you can link the rows of the upper things to the lower things. So let's say, for instance, you had a bunch of spec sheets that are PDFs, or mm -hmm. you're pointing to a certain page based on keyword. You can, as long as they're the same number of the top and the bottom uh, boxes, yep. uh, it, it, you know, it actually hard links it, which is great mm -hmm. because you don't have like some sort of a plugin doing it. It's actually mm -hmm. doing it right into the HTML. So yep. it's, it's a really nice uh, tool yeah. for that. So well, one other thought here as well is if you're building it as a PBN, I mean, if you if this was like the, the you, you know, mm -hmm. we've looked at that training before where you build a pyramid and there's 10 in the pyramid and the, the bottom layer is four PBNs, then three, then two, and then the top PBN site, there's the link into the money site. If you wanted to, you could build links to the other PBNs again randomly and have your, you know, your PBN one, two, three, four, all linked on your first campaign and then do a second campaign, just do it with three and then two and then maybe the money site in the one. And again, that would be quite a nice way to do it. And now the thing I like about this kind of approach is once you've set it up and it's in WordPress, you can obviously just copy the whole WordPress with WP Vivid or something like that mm -hmm. and then get it going again. If the posts are all spun, you know, it's it's ready to to put out again. I have used things like Yive sites, for example, as a way to build a PBN, but it, they don't really duplicate very easily. Well, they don't duplicate at all. But this is a way if you want to kind of duplicate your WordPress, you can spin them out fairly quickly once you've got the, the spin tax in the posts and it's all ready to go. So I thought that was pretty interesting yeah, to with, explore. Yeah. With mass page tools, we also give you a template to use the um, the – HTML output of mm -hmm. magic page. Uh, so that is uh, the dynamic backlinks builder. Yeah. Have you thought about using that? With this I'm not yet, but I mean, <laughs> I think there's is loads of potential week? for this. Is, 
Is Who that knows? Next week, I can though? continue the theme, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I mean, can help you with that theme. Yeah, I yeah. have the theme that's ready to go in HTML, and then yeah, um, you could you could do it with their form, and then um, then maybe we can kind of work in image fly into that and kind of show that mm -hmm. as well. Um, yep. cause I, I'll be showing some more stuff with image fly today and, uh, hopefully, um, all this stuff will kind of tie together in a nice bow, you know, uh, yeah. And yeah. soon. So, so yeah. Great. So the, 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 the point of this was just to get, I guess, get people to think, and I'm thinking about how to mm -hmm. use it as a blog is obviously magic page plugin. Typically you'll do a service page and on a local mm -hmm. site, that's the way you use it. And obviously you do put spun articles and i normally hide a, a an article or two in an accordion but this just seemed to be a way to get a whole article and, and make mm -hmm. it you know because of the export feature into a blog so anyway i thought it was an interesting idea but maybe i'll think of some other ways to use it with the form and uh mm -hmm. improve it even even further but uh but yeah so that's um that's uh mpp and exporting blogs and spinning them yeah okay sounds good thank you simon appreciate uh, your contribution and you don't need no stinking slides. Look at don't you. Don't need the slides? Well, yeah, I just, just yeah. winged it there, you know, completely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's any questions on that, or they're just yeah. like, just like, oh wow, you know. I'm never well, let's go. That, but... Let's go. I think there was some. Uh, there was a, a question from Jix host. It said, uh, "Do do PBNs help rank websites? Do you want to save that for the end, or can we throw a quick answer? Because we did mention PBNs, private blog networks. In case you're new to this, um, yeah, we we'll talk about that think? now." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, I mean, Mike Martin, who obviously owns, makes um, Magic Page plugin. One of his key strategies is building PBNs behind the Magic Page sites as a way to build authority and and rank the sites. And it's one of his key things. He's got some great training. If you look up uh, YouTube, the thing that I just explained there about building this pyramids uh, stack of, of 10 mm -hmm. sites and a pyramid with four at the bottom going up to one at the top is something that Mike uh, shared in a conference last year. And it's something that he he recommends. And, and obviously, he sees a lot of magic page sites. So um, it's a big part of his his ranking strategy for, for magic page. So I think um, if you were using what I've just shared there, and then you and you had the money paid the the money site link uh, in the top site as as uh, we just talked about in in Article Forge there, that that I think would mirror what Mike is recommending and uh, I think would uh, would help. I mean, it's always hard to identify the individual effect of these things, but um, PBN rankings, you know, for mass page and using this approach is something that's uh, well recommended, and um, I'd certainly take notice of Mike's uh, guidance on it. Um, Daryl, if you've got anything to add on that but that's that's um that's what the guy that makes the software recommends so yeah <laughs> yeah i mean um pbn's um i private blog networks have a definite footprint in a lot of cases and i think that a lot of people try to hide the footprints and all this kind of stuff but when it comes down to it uh when there's a network with a lot of links and not a lot of traffic is when you get into trouble with any kind of network. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, traffic is sort of that secret sauce uh, to make those links make sense. Um, Google's objective is to not index pages that are not relevant to the searcher's intent. And so if your website um, doesn't get any traffic, uh, and your links get no traffic, but you have you know huge numbers of links and huge numbers of sites with, you know, I don't think Google looks at sites with the as oh this one's got DA, so I'm excited about it. I think that yes, there's historical information that's tied to sites, but they're not Moz. Google has their own set of numbers, and so uh, I think we can get in the weeds a little bit when we say oh well, this has this trust flow and therefore these has this many links and it's going to work and blah blah blah. Well, all that's good and dandy, but if you don't have any kind of like significant any kind of traffic going through those things i think that it's a it's a big watered down pbn network and i think you have to be really careful and i can you know you've talked about a couple of things that i loved which was finding that expired domain that mm. already has the really good quality backlinks and then recreating those pages that have yep. the backlinks that's yep. a, that's a sexier pbn model than i think just a splash and uh grab 
you know yeah i think uh, i think that's right yeah i have i've got uh, about 20 of them that i've bought specifically for photographers and i've bought uh, expired domains from wedding venues and mm -hmm. those links show up pretty much straight away and i think they are they are useful the um uh chicks is asking about do i do this in my business so this what i've just showed you now i've just made mm -hmm. it up uh, over the last time this is something i'm experimenting mm -hmm. with the last couple of days so we i've do not experiment. done this i've not done yeah. this yet um the yeah. the, the, the backlink or pbn building that i do is based on enterprise primarily so i i do point enterprise links to my mm -hmm. sites uh actually primarily i point them to a subdomain with my Ma magic page plugin on which then points to the site so i have it kind of buffered out so that's mm -hmm. what i'm doing this is you know enterprises is much easier to roll out this kind of stuff than what i've just showed you but uh, obviously uh, there's a premium price to pay for month price so am i doing this for my business not exactly i've just made this uh, uh th this sort of skunk works project up just today but um yeah i, I use Mentorprise to send uh, i guess you'd call them pbn links to my magic page sites and my subdomains so uh, so yeah and even with Mentorprise, um the last um mastermind that we talked about and, I, and i'm okay talking a little bit about this is um, we're we're also trying to just do the un PBN enterprise. In other words, don't overdo the network because the network sort of sends a lot of signals, and it's better to almost just build a site to be like a site. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. Simon? Would you agree? Like, yeah. let's just build a site, make it seem like a site instead of. I mean, if you have enterprise, you have a lot of p potential power to. Uh, take a campaign and then redo it. Um, and it takes literally seconds to have it on another mm. subdomain um, and, and things like that. And you could just refresh the, the content with something else, just another um, article forge and just pop it in. So, um, so yeah, so w we're always trying new things um, to try to bring things to the show and to, to try to help you uh, guys out. Um, and also because I'm, you know, I'm tied up with, uh, pe people in the enterprise group and, uh, people that, uh, hire me to consult. So, um, I need to stay up on the latest and greatest, um, uh, of what is working. And I think that PBNs work to it to a point, but I think that, um, the select PBN, uh, method with an expired domain, the way that, uh, Simon taught a few weeks ago is what I think is probably the hottest way to do it, to be honest. Yeah, uh, Jix just asking about photography. So yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. I'm using Mentorprise to boost photography mm -hmm. sites. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and might get an overlay to show up uh, here. I'm. Um, we do have domains that we're gonna be giving away um, at at the uh, top of the hour. So stay tuned. Another half hour, we'll be giving away one of these fine domains, moldremovalprices.com, which is a very big niche. Uh, repair transmissions, another high ticket niche, quizbonus.com and logofuse.com. If you like domains like this, buy yourself domain kicks. I have a lifetime special on there. Uh, so you don't have to pay monthly for it. And you sell one domain, and I'm sure you can easily make your money back. So moldremovalprices.com, repairtransmissions.com, quizbonus.com, and logofuse.com, all found with domain kicks. All right. So James yeah. is just asking a question there about is the mastermind group uh, open if you still use the link? Uh, yes. If you come in through my link, uh, go.ht slash mentorprise. Um, it, we will get you in there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's anything that goes through that link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it rotates a few different names through there, but anybody, if you do use that link, uh, it, it, that'll get you through. Yep. Yep. Um, all right. So let us go ahead and we'll add this to the, uh, screen. Some people in the school community, um, first of all, to get to school, just go to, uh, school.com slash mass page. We've now changed our address. We don't have all those numbers behind it because we've been around for three months at least. Uh, so school.com slash mass page. Uh, we will have in here the classroom with all of the new tutorials for everything once it's all come together. So we are uh, been working so hard. And I know it seems like a long time guys, but this stuff, we're a small team and it does take some time to get it right. So um, the, the mass dot page uh, backend is changing. Uh, so we're, we're working on that and you're, you'll see some, you know, stuff that's a little bit um, just like link here and link there, but you can't have access yet. 
we'll, that stuff will all be kind of cleared up over the, the next little bit. But you'll see a classroom in here in school.com. Uh, if you're not already registered, go to go to go dot uh, ht slash sk. That's go dot ht slash sk. I'll flash that on the screen. Go dot ht slash sk. If you can throw that in the chat, that would be great, Simon. Uh, so that you can get a personal invite if you're not already in the school community. That's where we talk about domains, SEO, domain investing. Um, we talk about uh, mass page lead generation and, you know, making revenue, um, enterprise. We talk about everything in there. So um, we'd love to have you in that group. Um, now this week inside the group, we did a survey. So if you haven't already done this survey, please go in here and tell us what you're most excited for. Master Page is launching some awesome stuff and I'll be doing a pre-sale lifetime special exclusively for a limited number of people in the school group. Vote on which software uh, you are most interested in. So uh, we have a vote for ImageFly, a vote for Siphon AI, 12 votes for Mass Website Builder, MWB, five votes for Mass Page Tools Enterprise Plan, and zero votes right now for Domain Kicks. But uh, you can go ahead and put your comments in here and also vote for which one you are most excited about because it then helps us to know, you know who's out there in uh, who might be interested in buying it uh, through that um, that uh, link. So what I wanted to do is uh, talk to you a little bit about um, the pricing. So if you go here, you're going to see uh, there's a pricing page here. And the prices for the enterprise plan is going up. All right. It'll be up to $4.97 per month. Okay, so it'll be five hundred dollars a month because we're we're throwing in the business plan level of Mass Website Builder, the business plan level of ImageFly, which are two brand new products. The image, the uh, the business level of Siphon AI again, our own artificial intelligence spin text generator, right? Um, and you'll have Geoholics, you'll have Leads Detective. You'll have CSV wizard. You'll have master page form. So yes, it's a lot. Okay. And we haven't raised this price since we've added geoholics and leads detective. So uh, we are raising the price for this and that'll also raise the yearly price. Uh, oh, it'll be over three grand uh, a year. Okay. So just because you're sort of on here with us today and because uh, I think it's only fair to tell you that we're going to raise the price on a certain date. So we will be raising the price on Saturday, the 9th. So these prices here are good until Friday on the enterprise plan. If you want the enterprise plan, the agency plan is going to stay the same because it does not include all those other softwares. All right. So that's, that's going to still stay at the same price, but the enterprise plan, if you already have it, you're grandfathered in. So if you already have the enterprise plan, you'll get those, those as well. Now, if you are a mass website builder founder, okay, somebody that bought it a while ago uh, with Mike Martin and Tony Earp and um, the team, then you will be bundled into the, media, the middle plan, okay, which is a step higher than what the enterprise plan has, okay? Um, that's going to give you a lot of features, which we'll, we'll be rolling out when we launch Mass Website Builder. Uh, but those will, those will give you like probably 5x the features that the, the basic plan gives you. Then there will be a plan above that plan, which will allow for cloud hosting of uh, your sites. So you'll be able to knock out sites really fast and you won't have to worry about FTP and downloading and re-uploading and all that kind of stuff. And if you want to make a change, bang, it's there across all of your pages all at once. All right. So if you ever wanted to see what MWB looks like, this is what the current MWB looks like. All right. And basically what you do is you set up a new project and there's uh, various templates and things like this. And so you set up where you're looking to build a page for. So if you go to the United States, and let's say you go to Georgia and you type in Atlanta, okay? Then you put like how many mile radius and you put in what, what theme you want and you hit search. And 
when, when you do that, you will be able to um, start a project and be able to um, have your, uh, your, your site so that you can download it into uh, their PHP files, uh, HTML, and all that kind of stuff. And you'll be able to host it where you want to go. The new version I cannot show you right now because I can't show you the URL that it's on and all that right now. Um, but if, um, if you hang in there, probably I would say next week or the week after we'll probably have it. I thought it would be ready this week, but there's a couple of snags with some of the hosting uh, infrastructure that we have to work out before we launch it because I think we're going to get a lot of traffic on it right off the bat. So if you want the enterprise um, plan at its current price, go ahead and buy it. Uh, and get get underway with it. I don't have any coupon codes or anything like that, but uh, you can get it through here and you'll get all of that software added once that you are, uh, once it's launched, it'll just be added to your account. So we have single sign-on. So uh, you'll have one account and it'll have all of your stuff that you can just kind of click on to and get, get access to ImageFly and Mass Website Builder, uh, Siphon AI and all of these other things. So yeah, if you want the lifetime plan, this is just for a limited time, just for the people that are, you know, are hearing this conversation here. Uh, if you go on this, this is going to go up by, I think, 1500 So it's going to save you 1500 bucks if you buy this now. Uh, there is a split payment of six payments of $600 instead of the uh, $3,000 or dollars 20 29.97. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and fire up a, a chat with me, and uh, we, we can have a discussion inside of the uh, the Daryl dot chat. Okay. All right. Any questions so far that I need to answer, Simon? No, no questions. James is just going to say that he's going to vote for uh, all of the uh, uh, softwares that are in the school. So that's uh, that's one thing. But no, no questions about that. Uh, I don't think, unless anybody's going to ask something now. But okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. so um, it says right here includes mass page magic form, business level access to siphon AI, leads detective geoholics, CSV wizard, which we haven't talked about in a while, and we'll probably bring that up after the launch. Um, that that does not have a home page, but we have given people access to that if you want it. If you if you find that CSV editing would be helpful with that, uh, image fly, which uh, I'm going to show you again. So we we reached another milestone with image fly. And uh, Mass Website Builder, which, uh, again, I can't show you all the cool things that we've added. However, ImageFly is built into Mass Website Builder so that your images get processed and will have a lot of functionality uh, that we'll be able to use. And I'm going to show you that um, functionality now with Magic Page Plugin, okay? So you can understand when you get ImageFly, you'll be able to do all these kinds of cool things. So as you take a look, you can see, here's the picture of a dog that, um, that was sent to me by uh, Simon. And one of the things that we added here is if you take a look, you can see the image, it says it's 19 by 20 by 1279 original. So you could reduce this down to a smaller size and it'll tell you what the size of the image is going to be and then it can re-estimate the value of it. Um, we don't have this fully calculating yet. Uh, we just have it with the image quality. So let's say we do 60% of the image size and we're going to do, let's say, 40% on image quality. All right. Now, when we put in our text, we could put uh, my dog here. All right. We're going to go ahead and make this uh, black text. And we're going to go ahead and put uh this at let's see 90 pixels and i'm going to go with this font we're going to put the text at the bottom and we're going to go ahead and generate okay so now it says my dog here all right so what we can do is you can change the font of this as i think i showed you on the last one and you can also add a logo so let's say we wanted to put the image fly logo and the um, top left, let's see, left, top left, there we go. And then the image fly logo is part of that image. All right, so the cool thing is, is we have this overlay now. So let's say, for instance, we wanted to put a white overlay that's semi-transparent. We're going to choose that. 
And we're adding more stuff to it. But now, see, you can see that pop more. You can see that come up more. And that makes this URL. So the URL is just, you know, right now it's just functional for like an API. Um, you It does go into a page, and I'll show you where it goes into a magic page where we have dynamic text here instead of my dog here, okay? The other thing is, is that you have the data as well. So you can have, you know, the copyright, the author, the description, and all this does is going to have spin text in it. So you can spin it, have different descriptions. You can have different keywords and all of that kind of stuff inside of the campaign. And you'll be able to have multiple images uh, per campaign. Okay. But what I'm going to do is show you what I've done here with our old uh, theme that, that I like to play around with. And you can see right here, this is that header with siphon, I'm sorry, image fly in it. Okay. So we have New York City plumbers, New York City expert plumbers. This expert plumber came in as a field. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you in here inside of here. Okay. You can see inside this code that the text is right here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, this is using not only X fields, it's using spin text in here as well. So you have um, X field niche adjective one, pipe two, pipe three, okay? And so you can you can adjust that. Now, if you wanted to change the other factors, you can adjust that as well. But I'm, we're going to be moving that into the campaign so that this URL is much shorter. Um, and then the campaign will kind of control the look and feel of everything. But you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, you can change the alt tag, the title tag, and all that kind of stuff. And then the metadata will also work uh, with these. So this is the only tool that I know of uh, that does all of this stuff uh, all together, including the blur and the overlays and the fonts and all of that kind of stuff. So if you're excited about what this can do, go ahead and throw a yes or a hell yes inside the chat because uh, we need to know that you're interested uh, in having the power to actually create images like this. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, let's see here. I want to show you the city locations when they change. And I want to show you rotating images as well. All right. So here you go. This is what we used to have up at the top. It was just, this is from the form. It reduced it down to the shape and puts it in there, right? This is we what get, I got. We got some hell yes coming through here, Daryl. All uh, right. Sells, uh, All right. James, Michael, Don. So, so, yeah, I'm excited about this. I think this is really cool. It just it spins everything, you know, images, text. It's got the, the X fields. I think it's amazing. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah. Here, here you got um, New York Plumbers. This is, this is the city name and then the niche that's coming from my magic form. Okay. And you can see when you over, o go over it, it then has the alt tags and everything like this. This one is taking city plumbers and then it uses adaptable, which is one of our adjectives and then the niche uh, plumber. Okay. Um, if you wanted to have your name, address and phone number in here, right? Let's say for instance, we wanted to change the overlay, let's say for this um, here and uh, you go ahead and generate this. Now, some people swear by having a name, address, and phone number. So these are all possible things. So I'll, I think I showed you this last time. But now with this overlay, you can have it really show up on anything. Do you know what I mean? So you could you could have the uh, text be white, I guess. Um, and then you could um, go ahead and see that that my dog here, the reason why I wrote that is because we're going to go ahead and change it inside the code. Um, and that's where you see it here is we just go ahead and put our X fields in here uh, in location. Now, all of this stuff will work with MWB as well. So you'll be able to use all of the same stuff from our form in MWB and it'll work the same exact way. They're just different uh, variables. OK, so you'll be able to load up the variables. And that's why we put ImageFly inside of MWB 
um, because it'll one, it'll compress the images really nice. It'll throw the metadata in uh, so that you can fill out a form and just create a monster lead generation site um, with with the power of ImageFly with uh, Siphon AI is also going to be integrated in. Uh, so you'll be able to spin everything inside your pages. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I've been doing this mass page thing since the late 90s. And I've always wanted to be able to build something like this. So yes, it is taking a while, but yes, the wait is going to be well worth it. All right. So now here's the um, here's a, a rotator, and I'll show you how this works. We're basically just rotating the image fly in here. So if I go in and then take like Hoboken, New Jersey, right? It's going to load. See, it has a different image here. And now it says expert plumbers. And if we go to Jersey City, let's see what shows up for Jersey City. Yeah, it has that image. And it says knowledgeable plumber. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what? Yeah. What how many images can you spin that across? Is there, is there an upper limit? Or I mean, could, could, could you put in like 50, 100? different images or um i think you're you may be going a little far with 100 but i think yeah. you probably could do 20 um okay. to just kind of vary it up and then the other thing you can yeah. do mm -hmm. and then the other thing you can do is you can change the size you can yeah. change the um the darkness yeah all these kinds of things that you can kind of dynamically change uh throughout the thing and it i'm sure you can understand that because we have built ImageFly, it could also be used as a wordpress plugin mm -hmm. so that you can do it on other sites with like where the visitor is coming in from so if the union mm -hmm. city is where somebody's coming in from you could have a nice welcome image saying welcome from you know our friends mm -hmm. from union city and all these kinds of things you will get all of these functionality that's why i say with my tools, get in while it's young uh, because I roll this stuff. I've been honest with you from the beginning. Enterprise people get everything that, that I get if, as long as it's a mass page thing. It doesn't, doesn't mean you're going to get all the domain software I build. But yes, mass page, nobody expected me to give you guys mass website builders uh, uh, business plan. And I'm doing that. So I just want you to know when you, when I say something, I mean it. This, these are these are going to be very very valuable tools uh, when they all become one um, one thing. All right. Sounds awesome. Yeah, very exciting. Love it. So again, if you're interested in saving yourself fifteen hundred bucks, um, and if you have the wherewithal, uh, just go to our homepage, mass.page, either by the monthly plan, the yearly plan, or else uh, go for this um annual i'm sorry lifetime deal while it's available i've only opened up this uh lifetime uh, a few times a year at the most three i think so this is a chance to get it if you want to get access to it otherwise um you know i don't know what to tell you uh you might have to wait till black friday or something colin's uh, got some questions there i don't know daryl if you want to just pick up with colin sure. directly or or we just asking about uh, MWB wanting a bit more detail on the pricing levels and is it going to be a lifetime and how does it work with mass page? I don't know if you want to cover that off or contact Colin, um, flag that up. No, 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 I can talk a little bit about maybe this week we can do more detail. Yes. So I'm waiting to do a full sales webinar on it. This is, this is sort of the pre-sale. So uh, just like with the magic form, you guys, I built a lot of the features after people bought in at the lower price. And so I'm doing the same kind of thing right now because we're, you know, right close to the end of being able to launch MWB. So obviously we have to pay our developers. We have to, you know, take care of our funds. So to me to offer a lifetime plan for a very short period of time, it helps our development. It helps the hard work that we've been putting into this. Uh, to to kind of launch it so we can uh, pay for more marketing and all of that kind of stuff. So we're just basically saying, look, this is the pre-sale, folks. If you want access to it before it's available, uh, to you know, to to buy into it before it's fully launched, you're gonna save fifteen hundred dollars on that lifetime, maybe more, and um, and you're gonna save two hundred dollars a month on the uh, the monthly plan. So it definitely would be smart if you're able to, to either do that, um, lock in that monthly plan uh, for six months or just go ahead and uh, get the the, uh, the one-time payment. 
And uh, if you already have enterprise, great. Just keep paying your, you know, what you pay monthly for that. Or if you have enterprise, I'm sorry, enterprise, uh, you know, lifetime, you're in good shape. You're going to at least get the business plan. I think a lot of people that have the business plan, once they see the cloud, what the cloud can do, you want the cloud plan, which will be an upgrade from there. But we're going to take care of the founders first and give them a really good price uh, to upgrade to that if that's what they want to do. All right. So the um, again, just if you are a founder of Mass Website Builder, OK, you will get the mid the middle plan which is the pro plan, which is still a great plan. It's more features than what you had before. Um, it just doesn't have the cloud because we have to pay a lot of money to do the cloud part of it. Um, but you will have, you know, the image, fl image fly processing. You'll have a lot of that stuff. And I, I don't want to like spill the beans of everything, but believe me, if you're a founding member, you're going to be very, very happy with how it works um, once we launch this to you guys. Uh, because you're getting way more than that was ever promised to you uh, from the from the get go. So, all right. Anything else? Let's see. So, uh, I'm really excited about ImageFly. I think that there's so much potential here because of what mm. it does. It's an API, so we'll be able to offer this for other people. Um, and it will be incredible. As far as affiliates, John, uh, we're only going to take a select group of affiliates. Um, but if you are, as I spoke about this earlier, if you bought the founding, uh, you're one of the founding members, or um, you rebought it or whatever from somebody else, and you have the registration for it, you can be an affiliate. And we'll have details on that after our launch. So the launch is going to be, you know, first. Uh, I'll have the first whack at it. Then you'll probably see it with a lot of other um, people and we'll give you guys a chance uh, to do it. So yes, it's good to be an MWB founder. We're going to take good care of you guys because you've been so patient with this, you know, this app. And um, I just was thinking to my, you know, today I was like, I cannot believe this journey, you know, um, for this, for this app. But the fact that so much that I've built so far that, and when I mean that, uh, the form, the spin text generation from Siphon, the image fly, and then there's an, another secret program that I haven't told you about that will also be invo involved in this. This is like the synergy of all of these things together. And um, I am just grateful to be like able to produce something like this because I think it's going to be. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm back. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, so the stream was there, but uh, my my Chrome browser froze up. So I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, it um, it's an exciting time, and I'm very very happy where where it's starting to go. Um, and so yeah, I'm excited about it's all it. Coming together, yeah, uh, it's great. Yeah. So cool. All right, guys. So um, let's go ahead and get you guys to start putting in your names for the um, for the domains. So if you go to our um, the comments section on YouTube or wherever you're watching Twitch or uh, Facebook or let's see where else are we LinkedIn, uh, my Twitter. Facebook group, um, yeah, YouTube, um, Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, I think so uh, even you put are, it in on, uh, on Twitter, I think. Yep. Uh, go ahead and put your name and first initial. We'll put you into the wheel of names for, um, you know, water damage restoration is no joke, guys, for leads. Hmm. I mean, come on, mold yeah. removal prices. Uh, if you've got mold in your basement, you want somebody to remove that. You want to know how much that is, right? So you might type in that exact match. Repairtransmissions.com. 
These are all .coms, quizbonus.com and logofuse.com. And I would be happy to show you if my Chrome extension doesn't blow up on me here. Um, let me go ahead and delete a few. I have to close a few tabs. Close a few windows. Yeah. <laughs> so I may be Yeah, you probably watch. need a faster computer, Daryl. You know all you do. If you're on a Mac, you know, get a nice yeah, M1 Mac. Yeah, that. Yeah. M1 Pro, you know, yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Well, maybe I should stop giving away domains and start selling them. Maybe <laughs> yeah. that's what I should do. I think I think um, Logo Fuse is a nice one actually. I have to say that if you're like a you know logo designer, it's it's very brandable, isn't it? That it sounds like a like brand off the shelf. It's uh, got a cool cool sound to it. I like to give away like I like to do like one brandable, um, mm. you know, at a time here. Let's see. So let's see what the because I I'm going to be surprised as you on this one. So go ahead and put you can't your back main... out though if, if you've just no I never back premium, out. You, you, you know no no <laughs> you're in you're committed <laughs> yeah no I've well, never backed out have I um, you've not no yeah. got quite a few names here as well so I mean I will start listing when you when you're ready but yep. uh, lots you. of people entering good to see everyone uh, got to be in it to win it as they say I might have to turn off my uh, VPN because I can't get Esteban. Well, it looks like we've uh, lost Daryl again. All right. He's back. There we go. Yeah, I'm we back. Just, See, we, just lost, to... we lost you for a second there, yeah. Yeah, they, you know, some things are just not working without a without a real connection, and mm, I think yeah. that's because of the sign of the times right now. Yeah. Um, all right, so here we go. Repair transmission, 749 Mold removal price is 34 Quiz bonus and logo fuse zero on um the bulk on estabot and let's take a look at namor and let's take a look and see bulk upload hello you look these up for you to help guide you these are not exact numbers these are you know any any price that you get is what they're really worth uh, logo fuse 1750, mm. quiz bonus 1750, repair transmission under 500, and mold removal prices under 500. This is why there's so much disparity between these mm. different tools that it's really, really hard to go by uh, <clears throat> these automation tools. And that's the thing we have. I've been trying to build an AI to, to evaluate domains, and I have not been successful at that yet. And I'm mm. looking for someone that's you know smarter than me that can uh, help out with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get the wheel of names ready to go. And we will go ahead and put those in there. And if you guys have some questions, feel free to throw those questions in because we'll get to those right after our giveaway here tonight for one of those fabulous domains. All right. So go ahead and we'll uh, go get the comments here. And well, we get quite a few here. Looks like James you got, Power. Do you want me to call them out, or are you okay? Uh, you'll see themselves. Um, What's the best way to do it? Yeah, you can call them out if you want. <clears throat> Even uh, nice. Right. Um, let's just go stop. So James Power, Don S, Stephen C, David T, Mike okay, slow, O. Slow down. I go, Mike what? <laughs> Mike O. O. Rod S. Rod S. Yeah. John N. We've got James already. Yeah. Marcel C. L Couch, Stefan with an FP, so Stefan with an F, yeah, P, okay. yeah, Steve C, hey Steve, how you doing, Colin K, hey, Greg D, wait, I can see, Colin K, Greg D, Greg D, yeah. Okay. Just checking again. Yeah, we've got everyone there. Yeah, looks uh, <clears throat> looks pretty good. Okay, last call. If you want to get into the giveaway here, I'll close this ad here. Uh, last call. Again, I'll flash the domains while we're waiting. We got a transmission one, a mold removal one, quiz uh, site, and a logo site. All right, so uh, we'll just don't see any new comments. It is going to be top of the hour here in a minute. And so if you're just joining me right now, we're putting in names for the Wheel of Names for our domain giveaway. 
you get to pick from these four combinations. So you get to pick one if your name comes up on the price wheel. It's moldremovableprices.com, repairtransmissions.com, quizbonus.com, and logofuse.com. And let's see what shows up here when we spin this wheel. I think it's officially time. What do you say? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, it is officially time. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So right. yeah, spin the wheel. All right, we're spinning the wheel, and I don't, I don't see few people that we normally see. Let's see who gets this. David yeah. T. David. David Tullock. Congratulations, yeah, well David. I don't <clears throat> think he's won in a while. Maybe he won maybe yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, congratulations, David. Give everybody, uh, give a little shout out to David. Wish him congratulations. We are a very fun bunch of supportive people here in this group. So. Uh, David, if you uh, know right offhand which one, or else just reach out to me and we'll settle up. Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is through the school community. And uh, yeah, so close, Stephen. Congrats, Rod says. Kudos. Congrats, David. All right. Congrats, <laughs> David, Don says. Yeah, David, fantastic. Same, fantastic. Thank That's you, great. he says. Thank you, Dave, David, for listening and watching. All right. Congrats. Elbow bump. <laughs> nice. So you want to repair transmissions? You want to fix up that mold? <clears throat> do you want to do a quiz or do you want to do some logos? Um, what do you think would be the one to grab here? And um, let's see here. He said he'll reach out. No problem. Give it some time. Think it over overnight. Why not? Uh, so congratulations to you. And we do this at the top of the hour just because we love you so much. <laughs> and we love puppies. So, all right, guys. Any questions you want to fire up at us? It could be about anything that we talked about or anything else. If we can try to answer it, we will. Uh, if we need to bring you up here, we can do that as well. But I, I will go ahead and remove the puppies. and. Um, <laughs> Here we are. So uh, if you have any kind of questions you need some help with, um, this is a good time to ask them. Uh, I planned as soon as I have everything locked down with MWB to do a full walkthrough of MWB and I'll do a full walkthrough of, um, of uh, ImageFly. And James, yes, you can reach out to me through the school community. I saw that you reached out about Mentorprise. Uh, and I've been really busy with uh, trying to get things going, so I haven't been able to get a hold of you, uh, back to you, but I'll reach out to you. Um, let's see. So anybody, let's see, Marcel's talking about any updates on Mentorprise landing page strategy that we mentioned before. Um, he's talking about via web sorry, sorry, Webflow. Okay. Yeah, like the, the, the extra design features under the new extra tools feature. Yes. Yeah, so there are um, there is the ability to um, take a Webflow design and bring it into Menterprise. Um, there have been some steps that have been coming in um, via their engineer, um, Pim, their lead engineer that he's been talking about. I'm waiting for a few other things to come before I start to do it more uh, consistently. But that being said, what I would like to do is also make our form compatible as well. So I would like to make it so that we could just basically say, you know, what you're doing with MWB, here's an output for Enterprise as well. So that's sort of on the radar of things I'd like to do to try to make it just so that um, Enterprise and uh, MWB and Magic Page and, you know, other systems, you'll be able to just all do from the Magic form. And then you can just reiterate on whatever platform you want uh, just by just click and here's your output. Um, and so, yeah. I, I, and again, guys, I'm sorry it's been, you know, there's a lot of things that have been moving pieces and parts. And uh, so, it's, uh, you know, we're, like I said, we're a small team. So we're just always trying to improve and make it better. But some of the stuff that they did in 2021 was underground. You know, it's stuff that you haven't got to see yet because uh, we've been working on this stuff. And it just takes a little bit before all this stuff kind of synergizes. And that's where I feel like we're really close to having you guys see like, whoa, this is what this does. And this is why it ranks uh, so well. And so um, the idea that you'll be able to have metadata, have images with text on it, to have, you know, compression, all of these kinds of things are just no tools do all that, you know, to bring it all together like that. And like, even with Mentorprise, 
um, to be able to use, you know, uh, the stuff that we're building into um, ImageFly and to put it into Menterprise, that just, again, makes Menterprise that much more valuable. So a lot of this stuff is, you know, core mass page tools. That's what we call mass page tools um, that you can use for a lot of different things. So um, we're, I think we're just kind of scratching the surface, even though we started this in 2020 um, during the pandemic. Um, a lot of what you see now here as we get into 22, um, it's starting to show the fruition of the work that we did last year um, to, to kind of set this all up. So um, it does take time to develop software. That's, that's the way it is, guys. And uh, it does take, take money. So, you know, whatever you can do, if you wanted to support buying into the enterprise plan while the price is lower, if you're able to do that, that's great. It does help us to market this and to get it launched out to people. If you are very interested and you are a founding member and very interested in being an affiliate and you have an audience, uh, please reach out to me in the school community and just go hit my profile and go chat with me there and uh, we'll get you um, we'll get you sorted there as an affiliate. Uh, so, all right. I think that's it. I, I don't see any other questions. Don't see any questions. No. Yeah. Rod is right. Uh, every tool kind of helps each other. Yeah. I mean, big hugs to Olive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So hopefully Olive lets us sleep tonight. That would be really good. <laughs> she's got the she's got the cutest little bark. She's 10 weeks old. Is We call her the squeaker because she just Aww. squeaks, you know? So, so Yeah. So neat. So, all right, guys. I think that's it. What do you say, Simon? Yeah, I think that's uh, everything. So yeah, thanks everyone for listening, and great to great to see you all. We'll see you obviously on next week's show or in the school community. If you've got any questions, follow up with us there. So yeah, awesome. Thank you. Awesome guys. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye.